special yet? Well, well depends on your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, in the open class, uh, flying the latest technology, and I believe winning the day was Revo. However, however, you won't see his scores up yet because he's flying a, a, a GPS 2. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, how'd you do it, buddy? Um, We've got a, we got lucky. a home from Flytech nice. USA. Tried to make it there. That was my only goal. Is to make there. I made it there really slow and conservatively. So conservatively that I was able to hang out around the drop zone for long, longer than I wanted to, with all the meat missiles falling. And, uh, three thousand feet. Yeah, with an extra three thousand feet to check out the LZ, and then I wondered where everybody was landing because I couldn't see any of the gliders on the ground, and I figured there might be at least five, six people there by then. And then I. And try to come over and watch where all the skydivers were landing, landed over by them, and then everybody started trickling in after, and then I finally realized I did land at the right place. So, it was a fun day. It was tough getting up in the morning on the early part, but I looked at the video of me launching, and I saw zero people on the carts behind me, so <laughs> apparently everybody was pretty discouraged at that point. So, How many flights did you make? How many? One. Just one? <laughs> but I took off later with my uh, ranking of... 53rd, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it allowed me to watch everybody else, which was a good position to be in yesterday. Yeah. This one. Yeah. We also have a prize for the top placing woman yesterday. Linda, come up. Nice job. Is, is very consistent, but it's gusty, and while I think towing would probably be okay, um, with the top of the lift being basically at tow height, <laughs> and out landings may be a problem, we think it's best to just cancel it for the day. We have better weather coming in the next couple of days, so, so that's the plan. You guys agree. 